good morning the sun is finally out and i feel like it's helping a little bit i woke up this morning to like a crazy dream it was not crazy it was like really nice about my dad and my grandpa and my sister and i basically were out walking the dog and then we came home to the house the street was like really narrow but it was like decorated for christmas like crazy i felt like i was in like Whoville. It was so pretty. The front door was open. So we walk in and there's like a big Christmas tree, like a big foyer. To the left is like a big dining room and the dog's like sitting there. In the front foyer, there's like all these like treats and desserts, like Italian Christmas, like panettone and stuff like that. And then these little mugs that say my name and my sister's name. And then it has like all these cute little like I love you and like sayings on it. And like candy canes, it was so cute. And and then we realized that like our family friend Emily was the one who got us all this stuff. So then like my sister and I and Emily are all like talking really happy and like sad and we were talking about like missing people. Oh my god I look so crazy. And then we were like eating and my dad was in the kitchen. We moved into like our real house like my parents house and like my dad and my mom were in the kitchen talking by the back door like whispering to one another and then my dad came over to me i was like what are you eating and was like over my shoulder like looking at what i was picking at to see if he wanted some of it it was really cute and it was just he was like laughing and he was happy and he was just like oh i just want to see like what you're eating and then my grandpa who also passed away was in my dream there was like a bowl of like crushed peppermints and i was putting it in the hot cocoa that was in the mug and my grandpa was like oh what is that i might like that and i was like poppy you're not gonna eat crushed peppermints and it was just like we were all in the kitchen talking having a good time and it just felt like I was like there it's like so crazy to me like i find it so crazy that you have these like vivid dreams and i genuinely feel like maybe i was there i don't know you're probably thinking that i'm crazy but like where does your mind go i don't know i felt like i had christmas with my family and my dream and i felt like how christmas used to feel it was so nice and these were like happy tears i feel so um grateful that i had that dream anywho i'm drinking my collagen coffee Ooh, Ahem. I want to have a nice day today. It was such a nice dream. I feel like I need to follow it up with a nice day. Clearly I slept really hard. Work was a lot this week. I'm just exhausted. Like Mike and I worked so much this week. We were so tired. He slept late. I slept like a rock. Do you see my lips? It's freezing out. And the other night it was freezing and I went out with my girlfriends and I didn't put chapstick on before I walked the mile in New York City to the um, restaurant. And I licked my lips once. And I remember in my head, I said to myself in my head, don't lick your lips because you're gonna ruin them. Look at them. I'm only mentioning this because I've been using Aquaphor I used Aquaphor all day yesterday. They still look like this, okay? I used my Laneige sleeping mask for the last two nights, the night that I got home from drinks with my girlfriends and last night, and they still look like this. So what's happening? I feel like those products are good for preventing this from happening, but like I need something that's gonna fix this and fix it fast. Shopping on Amazon for people's gifts, and I saw this lip balm. It's from Bioderma and I was intrigued. And it just says it's a restorative lip balm for dry, chapped, damaged lips. So, hello. Hi. Unscented, enriched with nourishing active ingredients like replenished lipids, it repairs and soothes damage, provides extreme comfort. This feels like Aquaphor though. It has that very like thin. Oh, that feels nice though. I mean, they all feel nice because look at my lips. They're like so damaged. I've already started wrapping gifts. Thank God. I just want to be on top of this. Like I said to you guys in my last vlog, the end of the year is just so hectic and I feel like I'm going to be, well, I already am. Like I'm just having a hard time with everything. So I just want to be as proactive as I can possibly be so that like the few days before Christmas, I'm not running around like a chicken with my head cut off. In this vlog, we're just gonna hang out. I'm also going to get a hydrofacial tomorrow. So I will show you the before and afters because the last time I got a hydrofacial, I was in Vegas. I'm also expecting a little something something that I bought myself, a used pre-loved luxury good that I will obviously unbox with you guys. Wow, I gotta say, so far, I don't want to jinx it and I don't want to jump the gun, but my lips feel so much better thanks to this. This has definitely done more for me than the Aquaphor and the Laneige.
in just one use. I'll let you know, cause I'm gonna keep using this. And hopefully by tonight, my lips will be healed because Mike and I just made last minute dinner reservations and I kinda wanna wear like a cute lipstick and I kinda wanna get dressed up. So we'll do all that together. And then because I'm getting my facial tomorrow, I can't wear makeup for 24 hours after getting a hydrofacial. So I kinda wanna look cute tonight this way. Like the rest of the weekend, my skin will be glowy and like I'll look naturally great, I hope if things go according to how they went the last time, but I wanna look a little glamorous tonight because I'm not gonna look glam for the rest of the weekend. Wow, so happy I bought this. My go-to quick kind of makeup routine when I feel like wearing a red lip. So I'm putting Tatcha Water Cream on the skin. You know how I like to moisturize. Bioderma Lip Gloss, Lip Balm, so good. Now I'm using the Ule Henriksen Banana Bright Under Eye Cream. This is amazing all seasons, but especially in the winter, my skin is so dry and the skin around my eyes is so sensitive. This is a great job of hydrating without irritating. And now I'm using my Beauty Blender Bounce Skin Tint, applying it with this magnificent hourglass brush. Like, oh my this combo together is just like show stopping game changing it's natural beautiful can't say enough good things and now i'm using my dior forever skin concealer i love this this is the best concealer i have tried in years i use this to obviously conceal anything that i like to conceal but also kind of like bright in the center of my face to give that kind of like spotlight effect you know what i'm saying i'm using the same brush i use this brush this brush could honestly blend out mud <laughs> but I use this to blend out my foundation, my concealer. I would totally use it for contour as well. Anything and everything. It's so good. NARS Laguna Cream Bronzer. And I'm using it with this it cosmetics brush again this combo together unbelievable this cream contour can be a little harsh if you use too dense of a brush but this brush is amazing i will be sure to list every single product that i'm using down below in the description but i'm just using padding pressing motions to help add a little bit of warmth to my forehead to help chisel out the jawline you know i love a, a bronzer contour moment but when you can do two in one it's just game changing my favorite part like look she went from having no jawline no chin to being able to cut diamonds. It's unbelievable. And then I'm just taking what's ever left over on the brush to help sculpt the sides of the nose. Grabbing my hourglass brush, I'm just gonna clean up the edges of that bronzer to help make it look a little bit softer and not as harsh. And then I'm going in with my Tower 28. Oof. Whoops, I always do this. I always put too much on. This is in, I believe, rush hour, but again, I'll put everything listed down below so there is no question. Adding this onto my cheeks, obviously, a little bit into the crease, and then what's ever left over on the bridge of my nose, going back in with that hourglass brush, again, to just clean the edges. I find that little techniques like this, like little edge cleanings, help to make the face look so, so natural. Now I'm just taking some Givenchy Prism Libre Powder and just powdering basically the center of my face where things tend to move on me into the fine lines and then yeah underneath my my contour my blush and then I'm taking a cat paw brush to just remove any of the concealer that may have moved into my fine lines before then again going in with a little bit of powder on that puff to just help set everything nicely hourglass ambient lighting palette I'm really into this I find that every winter I whip this out but I'm just taking it on this Scott Barnes brush and I'm putting this pretty much everywhere I'm basically using this to just set my entire face and then my merit brow pomade I love this stuff so good I'm just using this to lift the brows to help kind of get them in position for when I go in later to just not perfect them but kind of just fill them in a little bit Taking this NARS palette, it is discontinued, but you do not need it. I'm taking a neutral brown and a, a warm brown, mixing them together on this fluffy brush from It Cosmetics. Again, I'll put it down below, but I'm mixing the two. I'm starting it into the crease, so I'm pushing it, pressing it, windshield wiper motions into the crease, then putting it all over the lid, and I am not being delicate with where I put this. I am quite honestly putting this basically everywhere. So just giving a little bit of definition to the eye, and then I'm taking those same two colors on a smaller brush, and I'm putting that underneath my waterline underneath my my lower lash line I should say and kind of just making it more cohesive again and what this does is it helps to define the eyes make the eyes look a little bit bigger and get, there is really no rhyme or reason I'm just adding a little bit of definition now I'm going in with a lighter shade on a flat brush and I'm focusing that all over the lid mainly in the inner corner and the center of my lid 
and I don't know what it is guys but I am just super into highlighter this one's discontinued but it's just a champagne highlighter ABHM resi I honestly was never really that into highlight but I don't know what it is this winter my skin isn't in a bad spot it's just not as glowy dewy as usual um you know in the spring summer months so I'm just loving a bit of highlight and I'm also going to put that in the inner corner my morphe continuous setting spray I was a little aggressive with this but I feel like I tend to be aggressive and then the red lip of the moment this one is from NARS I believe it is in the color dragon girl I was watching Alisa Eldridge she's a makeup artist here on YouTube and just in life I was watching one of her videos I will link it down below but she said that she likes to go in with her lipstick first with the red lip and then perfect it with a lip liner so that is exactly what I did and I love how the shape came out it looks very natural very beautiful I think I should not have done this but I wanted a little bit of like hydration so I used the fresh rose icon lipstick this added a little bit of an orangey tone to the lip I really wanted it to be red but it is what it is it was comfortable and comfortability is important to me Lancome Lashy Doll to just you know give a little bit of life to the lashes and then my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz I just use this to perfect any of the areas of my brow that are a little bit sparse that have no hairs I didn't want the brows to look done I just wanted them to look a little bit better and then I felt like I needed a little bit more bronze so I'm using the NARS Laguna powder bronzer on a big fluffy hourglass brush to just go over any of the areas where I put that cream bronzer previously and I love how this makeup look came out it looks very fresh my skin looks beautiful I love the tones I love like the orangey tones with the navy outfit this is the outfit that I decided to go with I'm wearing that Sandro cardigan that I showed you guys in my last vlog during my rent the runway home Ferragamo belt that's actually my husband's he gave it to me and then these Italian pants also from rent the runway and then my Maybell shoes that I showed you guys my YSL I think it's called a Lulu bag and this is the fit and honestly I can't get enough of these shoes I've worn them like 25 times and I love this outfit, love the makeup, so happy with how it came out, and we had a really nice time that night. The food was delicious, honestly, not as good as the last time that we went, but the expectations were high because they set the bar so high the last time, but it was just nice getting out, spending some time with my husband, and putting some makeup on my face. I don't know why, every time I'm saying good morning, I feel the need to tell you that I'm drinking collagen coffee. Mike and I went out to dinner last night, we went to our favorite restaurant, Although I have to say it wasn't as good this time and this always happens to me and Mike makes fun of me. Mike calls me to chew Sue because <laughs> every time we go somewhere, I will like love it the first time. And then the second time we go, I say, it's not that good. And then selfishly, we end up not going because I'm just like, the food wasn't even that good. So the first time we went, which was about a month ago, Mike didn't love any of the things that he picked and I loved everything. Okay, so then we went back last night and I didn't love any of the things that I picked. Like we got a beautiful thing of oysters. I think we got a dozen oysters. And Mike and I like different oysters. Mike and I have very different taste palettes. Like anything that he likes, I tend to not like and vice versa. He got four oysters and I got eight oysters. The ones that I loved the last time weren't as good as this time. And then the other ones that I got to mix it up this time were very fishy. I ordered the same thing. I told you I got the sole that was like the big breaded chicken nugget. It wasn't that good last night either. I don't know, but... I looked bomb. I loved my red lip. Mike said he didn't really like my red lip. It was a little too orange for him, which I don't know why, but I told you guys I've been a little sensitive lately and I was a little sensitive about that. Honestly, because I don't really feel comfortable on a red lip. So when I wear a red lip, I mainly wear it for my husband because I know he likes red. I'm in a lot of red right now, right? Yeah, he didn't love it, so shucks, but I have my sports top on. I'm still on my pajama bottoms. I painted my nails last night, Big Apple Red, which is from OPI. I need to finish my coffee. I need to go work out and then I need to get ready for my facial. I'm going to my grandma's afterwards. I texted her and asked, no, I called her and I asked her if she need anything because like I told you, she fell and hurt herself and she can't really get around, which is like upsetting if I think about it for too long. I'm getting my period in four days time and I feel like this is the time where I'm like very tired and my brain doesn't work and so my words don't compute. Bought myself a little vintage something. If you know me, you can already guess what it is. So I'm gonna unbox that with you guys today. I am literally in the same outfit. I think I've worn this outfit like four times this week, but 
I, I showed it to you last night, but this top is from Old Navy. No, no, it's from The Gap. This is like their favorite tank. I absolutely love it. I think it's great quality. I have Mike's Ferragamo belt that he gave me because it doesn't fit in it anymore. I have these ridiculous, the ridiculous, I can't talk, okay? Cargo pants that I really want to buy, but I'm not. I'm gonna put my Sandro cardigan on, but like, I don't know about you, before I get my period, I overheat, so I am literally sweating right now. I have my Amazon earrings in, and I don't know what bag I'm taking with me to go get my facial. I thought for one second to put a little bit of makeup on, because you guys know I watch a lot of vloggers on YouTube, and so many of them wear makeup, like to say hello and vlog before they get a facial, but that seems so counterintuitive. So I'm not gonna do that. And I also thought it would be good to show you guys a before and after of my skin. So let's do that now because I wanna unbox this vintage thing. I almost said what it is with you guys. And then I need to run and get my facial and then I need to go to grandma's. So here's the skin. I just feel like it's gonna plump me, especially like in this area, in this area. It's just like a very plumping, hydrating, experience and i will tell you more about it because this will be the second hydrofacial that i've gotten and my plan right now is to get a hydrofacial once a quarter so once every three months the last hydrofacial i got was in september now we're in december and let's move on so i got something from poshmark if you guys keep up with my channel here, you know I sell a lot of stuff on Poshmark. And when you sell things, you obviously make money off of it and you can keep the money in your Poshmark account to shop for things or you can cash out and just get the money. So, you know me, I love shopping and I love designer things, guilty as charged. I know it's like my money, but like it's Monopoly money in my eyes. I don't know, girl math. I just think that like I sold all of my belongings and I just think of it as a credit, even though it's not because technically I purchased this with my money because I could have cashed out, but I chose not to. So you guys know during the holiday season, I typically buy a handbag during Black Friday sales or Cyber Week. Last year, I bought this Valentino bag that I adore, I love, I love it. This is the medium rock stud tote when this came out. It retailed for about $3,000 plus. I don't think they make this size anymore. I think they make a small and a large. I think they discontinued the medium, but I bought this and I spent like $600, five to $600 on it, which steal. So I bought this on Poshmark. Granted, it wasn't technically on sale, but it is pre-loved. And I guess you guys already know what it is, and I could have just said it was a handbag before when I almost said it. Now, if you don't know anything about Poshmark, if something is over $500 and it says it's designer, when you purchase it from the seller, so I purchased this from, I don't remember what her name is because it's not on here, but I purchased it from, let's say, Kara. So I purchased it from Kara and then Kara sends it to Poshmark facilities where their professionals, their authenticators, look at the product, authenticate that it is actually a designer. And if it is, it gets sent to me, which it is, so it's sent to me. And if it's not, it gets sent back to the seller and I get my money back. So just so you know, in case you're wondering, if you're on Poshmark and you buy something though that says it's like Louis Vuitton authentic and it's $200, you know, there's no way to really know if it's authentic because it doesn't go through that Poshmark authentication. Does that make sense? I hope it does. This is what the box looks like. You don't get fancy packaging, okay? Here is the bag. She is a little baby bag, but it comes with the Posh Authenticate. So it says here, thank you for your purchase. Our luxury experts have confirmed the authenticity of your, you're about to see what it is, bag reviewed by it's all yours ready to style we hope you love it so i'm gonna keep this if i ever decide to sell this because i don't know i might not love this bag and might not make it into my forever collection i don't mind this i don't need the glitz and glam i just want it to be in good condition or as good as it said now this said this was in perfect condition oh great so it came it's gucci duh um it came with a little duster bag, which I love. And then, oh my God, it's so cute. This is the little bag. 
So I forgot what this is called, but it is in like excellent condition. You guys know I bought those Gucci shoes that have the same print as this and I wanted a bag that match it, that matched. That matches? I don't know what I'm saying today, but I wanted a bag that matched because I do like to be very matchy matchy. I do realize that, at least in my opinion, I don't know, this is a summery bag to me. Now, I work in New York City, I work in an office and oftentimes like, I take a lunch break. I go and I run an errand for my job or I run a personal errand and I always end up taking a little wristlet. I will show you the wristlet that I have at work. It's literally a white wristlet with an evil eye on it. You guys know I love evil eyes, but it's white and it kind of looks a little dingy. I saw this and I know that it's winter because in the winter, like I go out in my big heavy coat, I have pockets, I stuff my wallet, my phone, anything that I need to, to have in my coat. However, I have seen this on the market for quite a long time and I've seen it in different color variations. So it has the Gucci canvas and then it's an orange. I really, really wanted the brown because I love brown. And I just think like, I'm, I don't know. The orange doesn't really go with my color palette of clothes that I wear. So I saw this and I just said, let me buy it now while it's available. I will try and find a bag similar to this, or that is this, on the used market because Gucci no longer makes this. But I love this, it's so cute, it's so like vintage. I love how small it is. It's in really good condition. I don't think there's any marks on it. Stitching is a little fuzzy, I don't know if you could see that. You probably can't see that, but it's kind of like fuzzy up top. It has this little, I think this is called a D-ring. You could hang something from it, but it is very lightweight, which I knew. I do a lot of research before buying pre-loved handbags, and I highly recommend that you do it too. You know, make sure you know the measurements. Get a ruler, a tape measure, whatever. Put it against your body. See what it's gonna look like. Make sure that your foam fits inside. On Poshmark, you can find things and leave comments to the seller and ask them questions. When I saw this, I will leave the seller down below because this is in great condition and it is exactly what she said that it was. But when I saw this, I scrolled down on the listing and I commented and I asked her, can you please give me the dimensions? I would like to know if my phone would fit inside because she had great pictures and everything, but there were no dimensions. So I didn't know if this bag was gonna be this big or if this bag was gonna be this big. So ask questions before you buy. Don't feel obligated to buy if you do ask questions, but I go on YouTube, I watch review videos, I watched an unboxing of someone who bought this on the secondhand market, and in that video she said that it's a very flimsy bag. So this is nothing like a canvas bag, this is cloth. So when I say canvas, I mean like this. Like this is substantial, okay? When I was looking at this, I was also looking at a Louis Vuitton bag that was in that canvas print. Not, it was a different print, but it was that same material. And I went back and forth, but I kind of think I wanted something a little bit looser and a little bit more, it just looks, it looks so vintage to me. I don't know. I love it. It's super cute. I'm very happy with my purchase. And so when you purchase something, you have, I believe it's like three to four days once receiving it to accept it or reject it. And I think you can only technically reject things if the seller misled you during the sale. If you get the product that you purchased, open it, right, open it right away and accept it right away because as soon as you accept it, the sooner they get paid. And some people are like counting on that money. So I'm gonna hop into my app. I'm gonna accept this. I'm very happy with my purchase. I can't wait to use her, but I don't think I'm gonna use her today. Let me know what do you think down below in the comments. You guys know I love, love, love to hear from you. Um, and again, this is my face before my facial, up close and personal. And I can't wait to get my facial. Also, I realized the other day when I said, when I showed you guys my closet video and I mentioned the sunglasses that I'm keeping and that I would show you, I'm gonna show you really quickly also. My face is getting re really red. This also happens right before I get my period. But these my husband bought for me. Was it for my birthday? I think it was for my birthday. They're Gucci, I love them. I love big buggy glasses. And normally I can't get away with them because I have such a small face, but I don't know. These just like fit my nose well. And they have a little horse bit on the side. Obviously, if they still sell these, I will link them below. But they are a vibe. However, I'm wearing black and blue today. I love navy and black, I don't know. Navy and black and brown has really been my like go-to color combos. 
but I'm gonna wear these today. I bought these at Sunglass Hut this past summer and they're just funky because they're blue. They're Dolce & Gabbana and I love them. And they're more like of a sporty vibe. They're really cool. They're very different and I've never seen anyone with them. They also come in black. I was tempted to buy the black, but I got the blue because I figured I already have a big pair of black sunglasses. Here's my outfit. Ignore my messy room. I'm literally wearing pretty much the same thing I wore last night. However, I paired it with my $5 H&M boots that I absolutely love. Ignore the presents all around me. I've been gift wrapping, trying to get on top of Christmas. And I also am pairing it with my Goyard bag. I need this bag because I'm bringing a lot of things to my family. And yeah, let's go. Michael's calling me probably to switch cars, but this is the look. Woman on the go, running errands, you know? Okay, so I just finished my hydrofacial. This was the very comfy, cozy bed that I was in and the goggles that I wore because they did a red and blue light kind of mask thing towards the end of it. And then this is the machine. So the magic is supposed to be in the wand, which works like a vacuum. You could see the wand on the left of the machine, but it's supposed to work like a vacuum to open pores for a deep cleanse. It extracts impurities, dead skin cells. I definitely like the one that I had in Vegas a hell of a lot more than this one. Here's my skin. I looked plump. I look dewy, but again, I feel like I look better after my facial in Vegas. Here's a little close-up of my skin. I am a little red, like I said. I am getting my period any day now, so my skin is just, you know, a little bit more irritated. Yeah, I don't know. I wasn't really impressed. I didn't feel like she took the full 45 minutes to do it. It felt like it was like 25 minutes. Here are the products that she used. Obagi, she used a skin moisturizer, an SPF 50, and then that is a toner. And then again, in case you didn't get a good view the first time. Uh, here's my skin again. And yeah, I have very sensitive skin. So after any kind of facial that I get, my skin does get pretty red. She is sensitive. And yeah, I don't know. Honestly, I wasn't impressed. It was kind of a letdown. Hello. I am back visiting grandma, but I just wanted to show you my skin in the light. I'll give you guys a rundown. I did not, you can't even see my skin, but I did not love this um, facial as much as I like the one when I got in Vegas, just FYI, but we can talk about it later because I have wine. I'm going to go paint Grammy's nails. So see you in a bit. I honestly don't remember if I checked in with you guys after my facial yesterday and I'm not trying to be negative, but my facial in Vegas was so much better than the facial that I got here in Jersey. I went to Ethos Spa in Summit. It's like 25 to 30 minutes away from me. So I left early. I got to the spa and then I drove around for 20 minutes trying to find a parking spot. Then I found a 30 minute max parking spot and my facial alone was supposed to be 45 minutes, but let me tell you, it was not. So just like getting there, I was so flustered. And by the time I arrived, like I wasn't in the right like zen. Like I thought this was gonna be like my facial last time, just so relaxing and like a moment, you know, like a spa treatment but it really wasn't relaxing. Like I said, I do not think that the treatment was 45 minutes. I think it was like, it felt like it was like 25 minutes, honestly. And I don't know if it's because the girl who did my facial, she was super nice, but she told me that she was a nurse and she typically does the injectables, but whenever the estheticians are not working, she knows how to do the hydrofacial, so she feels in for them. So I kind of just feel like I got a subpar treatment, to be honest. I had high hopes because this is like a med spa, but I don't know. So I'm definitely gonna go again next quarter. So when I go back in March, I'm gonna try out a different place. So I will let you know how that goes. So if you're in the New Jersey area, I am tracking down the best hydrofacials for us because yesterday did not cut it. I don't know, like my skin looks good, but I feel like the last time I got it, my skin looked plumped. My face was really plumped. I felt like I left this facial and my skin didn't really look very rejuvenated. I'm also about to get my period. I don't know if that's a factor, but honestly, I got my hydrofacial right before I got my period when we were in Vegas too. So I'm on the same cycle. I don't know. I'm a little let down. After Vegas, my cheeks were like huge. My skin was like glowy, glisteny. And like, honestly, my skin was a little sensitive afterwards. This time it was not. So I don't know. 
not the biggest fan. And like I said, I'm gonna go somewhere else.